In this video, I show you how to fix your Seagate hard drive not working. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like, and let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my computer, and let's get into this first method, and this may seem quite basic, but what I recommend doing is trying a different USB port on your computer, because sometimes the USB port may just be playing off or not working. If that still doesn't work, then it's definitely worth trying another computer. So maybe an old computer, a friend's computer, and possibly even a different OS, for example, a Mac computer, it's a bit of Windows, they're worth trying, but they're not essential. Now for this second method, this is gonna be if, if it's a brand new hard drive, and the third method is gonna be if it's um, like an, an old one you've already got. So skip the third method if you've had this hard drive for a bit of time. So if this is a brand new Seagate hard drive, then what I recommend doing, or SSD, then what I recommend doing is going and tapping on search on your computer, and you need to go and type in partition just like so, and then go and tap on create and format hard disk partitions. When you first go and open this disk management app up and it's um, and it's a new hard drive you've got plugged in, you're going to go and get this pop-up saying initialize disk. So from here, what you need to do is make sure you go and select the disk which is new, uh, and then you can either go and choose the option for MBR or GPT. And personally, when choosing the partition style, I'd use the GPT style, but you can use the MBR as well. You know, do some research, but the GPT uh, basically allows for more partitions in the future, and it's better for more modern OSs. And then go and tap OK, and then you'll be on the disk management app and then come down to the second half of the disk management app and you can actually go and scroll through all your different drives so what you need to do is go and find your new Seagate drive as you can see mine is here now I don't actually have this issue currently and it is appearing but if it's a brand new drive it's likely to go and say unallocated and this just means that it hasn't been set up properly so if yours says unallocated then what you need to do is right click on the empty space in the hard drive here and what you need to do is go and tap on new simple volume when you go and tap on that the new simple volume wizard will then go and open up and then go and tap on next and then you'll need to go and specify the volume size. For this, I'd recommend just making it equal because you're probably just wanting to make use of the whole hard drive space. Then tap on next and it's gonna go and ask you to go and assign a letter to your hard drive. And the letter basically correlates to the your file explorer. As you can see at the minute, I've got C, D, E, F, and G. So I'd probably go and go for H next, but it doesn't really matter. Then tap on next and you're gonna be on the format partition page um, and make sure you go and select format this volume with the following settings. And for the settings, I always go for the NTFS file system. It's the most universal one. Um, and then I just keep the allocation unit to default. And then you can go and use the volume label to go and name your drive. Drive. you can keep it new volume or you can go and customize it but you can also go and change the drive name later as well then I also recommend performing a quick format that should automatically be selected then go and tap on next and you can go and tap on finish and then it should be allocated and then your hard drive should be appearing in your file explorer now for the next method, you actually still need to go and open up disk management. So if you just skip that part, all you want to do is go to your search and go and type in partition, just like so, type in partition and go and tap on create and format hard disk partitions. So what I recommend doing for this third method is just going and reformatting the drive, uh, simply because it may be something be wrong with it, corrupt or I don't know, it could be anything, but reformatting it will hopefully go and fix the problem. So what you need to do is come to the second part of the app and scroll down just like so until you can go and see your Seagate hard drive. Then what you need to do is right click on it just like so and then go and tap on format. And it is important that when you go and format this hard drive, you're going to lose everything on it. Uh, so all the data and everything like that will be lost. But of course, it's not much good if you can't access it anyway. So, but I recommend trying to back it up. So uh, perhaps go and plug it into another computer, as I said before. See if that works. You know, try everything. This is purely a last resort to go and format the drive. So go and um, make sure you set the file system. I'd personally use um, NTFS in the future. I'm not sure why that's on XFAT, but yeah. Then just go and press OK and your hard drive will be formatted and hopefully that'll go and fix the problem. Another thing you can try is a different cable for your hard drive in case that's playing up. Um, but yeah, if that still isn't working, it may be worth trying to get some professional help. But yeah, if you guys found this video useful and it solved your problem, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.